table to catch and cook, guys. Well, good morning, guys. Um, welcome back to the show. Uh, we are driving on a lake. We're following a guy right now. Our I guess it's a guide service. We have a guide service that we've rented a shack from, like a day shack. Uh, so we've got heat and all that. We don't have anything to worry about. It's supposed to be pretty comfortable in there. This is something that I've never done. Mike has used this guy as a guide a couple times, a lot. So we are hoping to get some good fish today. Um, Perch fishing today. Uh, perch fishing today. Yeah, so that's kind of the plan is perch. I guess that's what's really biting right now. Maybe we'll have a walleye. Is that a plane? That's, a plane. that's a plane. There's like a little air sock. Oh, there's an airstrip on the ice here, dude. Can you guys see that? There's a, there's a landing strip. That's crazy. And it's windy, boy. It is windy. But we're just hauling ass across the lake at about 40 mile an hour right now. We're hauling ass. Um, <laughs> I guess those fish don't wait for nobody. No. So we're going to get out here and we're going to get set up in our little shack and we're going to get to fishing. Uh, today we'll probably get, cook some food up in the shack, cook, cook those fish up that we caught in the last episode, and hopefully we catch some more today and we cook those up along with it. But uh, yeah, we're. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. He's making a new road, so we must be these shacks here. And he took it too wide. How often do you see somebody plowing the ice? Not now? very often, huh? turned on. There's another shack over here. I'm assuming we're gonna have neighbors later. Oh yeah we might. And here we are guys in a nice little uh, hard side shack. We've got holes drilled in the floor for us already. So we've got six holes. Uh, in Minnesota, you can only have two lines out per person. So we've got two holes each. We've got some rattle reels to use here. And we've got some propane heat. We've got our bait and a window. And we're gonna get everything set up and we're gonna get to fishing, guys. Stay tuned. We want our money back. Ross! <laughs> Ross! The same kind of work, buddy. Uh, no, sir. I guess I'm on the board. Yeah, you got one. I think I'll probably stick with my bigger rod then. <laughs> my bigger jig. Yep. 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 Keep them off me. I'm excited. Let me catch a fish. Oh, oh, oh. It was just wrapped around your core. Actually, no, it's, it's 
Well guys, we had the radio jamming, so I don't know how much you saw that. Um, but hey, that's the chill out. That's definitely the biggest one. That's yeah, the biggest one. Like I'm yeah, on the fence on keeping it. It's I think that's what we kept you know? last year, but yeah, it's I think we'll just toss them back. Like we've got the entire day. How long have we even been here? Uh it's like it's almost midnight, bro. 8:30. <laughs> we've been here for an hour. Hey, but you know you got to start somewhere. And with man. set up, we've probably been fishing for 45 minutes. Dude, you got to chill out. I want to show you to the camera a little bit since you're the nicest fish of the day so far. And then I'll let you go back down the hole. Well, there we go. There's some Minnesota gold. You can get his fin up because they look kind of cool. There we go. And uh, hopefully we can get into a little bit bigger ones. You know, a couple inches more than this. And I'd say that'd be a solid keeper. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's I mean, you could eat this guy. He's borderline. They're thick. You can get a decent little chunk of meat off of these guys, but we're not looking to keep dinks. Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be worth throwing my knife. For no, I'm hoping to catch some big stuff today, but that's a good sign. I put that bigger bait on, and, and here we go. There you go. Yeah. You fed off the dinks. I'm going to insta that bad boy. All right. More bucks. Do what? More bucks. Yeah, Ooh, this one feels good, dude. This feels good. Huh? Huh? Hey, that's decent. Flick me an eye. That's a good one, man. It's not bad. Is that still, the biggest one for you yet today? Today, yes. Yep. Oop, and I've got. It's I'm, still not quite what I'm I, looking to eat, though. You know. I mean, if we were desperate, those couple that I mean, I mean those are thick guys. That's though, the thing. You know? Yeah, you could get a little bit of meat off of them, but yeah, they got some shoulders, buddy. You know, to a point, I feel like cleaning little fish is kind of mean. <laughs> no. Dude, yeah. I'm like, poor buddy didn't even have a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll let uh, let's say let them go, let them grow. Yeah. Bless my hole. Maybe he'll go hit my bait. Maybe he'll go straight into your hook and you can fight him in. There we go, yeah. What did I get? Yeah, you got the one I just threw down there. No. Nope. <laughs> He's still hanging out in my hole, though. <laughs> I'll get him. Here's your phone. It's, it's funny how they curl up like that. <clears throat> oh, shit. I didn't know there you go. Number. It's a little. About the same size as that guy. Biggest card around my transducer cord. That's a, that's a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's just a wee bit. It's yeah, this is it's cool. Like, I think that's their defensive action because it's probably harder for them to get, to swallowed, get swallowed. Yeah, when they're curled up and they have these gill plates that are sharp, they'll flare out. So yeah, there you go, little dude. They are sharp. You ain't lying on that. And I've back cut by one before. Yeah, kind of like walleye, but these guys don't have the teeth like walleye. Right. That seems good. Oh, it's not that good, but not terrible. That's a little bit better. I mean, those are like borderline keepers, you know. Johnny. All right, guys. So we've caught a few here. Uh, Mike ran over and checked the house, right over 20 feet that way, and he pulled in. A few bigger perch pretty quickly they seem to be more aggressive it's a bigger house and there's more holes so we're gonna run over there quick and fish out of that one uh, I'm just bringing my rod and and the waxies and my perfect graph I don't plan to bring all my junk with me because uh, we're right here but we're gonna run over to that one guys stay tuned All right, guys, here's the other house. It's a little bit bigger. It's kind of hard to see. I'm set up in this hole right here. Uh, Mike's fishing over there. What's that? Well, Brian, are having regrets of not buying in. You should go in as, as partners. All right, that's, that's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one. Get a coin that's we'll a good one. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure it looked good. You look huge down there. You can't get a weekend unless I 
and the bend in your pole got me excited. I'm like, ooh, that is a good one. You could have just watched them bite it. I mean, yeah, that's too small to keep, but there we go, guys. That's a small one. That's a small one. That's a tiny one. Looks big next to the camera, though. That's why we're a good team. It's not terrible. Right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> At least that's the one I was targeting. You sight fished him? Yeah, yeah, right through the hole. But boy, he looks so much bigger. They down do, there. they look incredibly He's big. Like, down oh my there. god, look at that one. So all the other ones I thought were big. <laughs> They're smaller size. than this guy. Yeah. <laughs> eh, you know, I mean he's he's once again borderline. Not not enough to get a flea knife to him though. Actually. I'm hungry. We'll keep him. I'm hungry. It was, it was. All right, guys. So we ran back over to the first shack uh, and we're packing our stuff up. It's about noon. Um, the guide called us and he's going to move us to a different lake. And we are going to be trying probably for some crappies and northern. Um, we've caught, I mean, we've easily caught 50, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. We've got quite a few perch, but a lot of them were pretty small. We ended up, Mike kept two of them. They'll cook up. There'll be some meat on them. And we've got those other couple of crappie to cook. Stay tuned. We're going to see where he takes us, uh, what kind of shack it is, and I guess we'll get to cooking. So we'll see you there. Must already have a road plug to them. Yep, that's it. Okay. Like my Chevy will do it his better. Yeah, it's uh, you know. Very nice. It's, it's fishing time, you know. Ooh, we got like a fireplace in this one. Yeah, the old one had All right, y'all. Well, we're at another lake. Uh, we are going to get ready, and we are going to be some fishing. I still got to grab some of my crap, and we're going to get after it. So, stay tuned. Wish us luck. We have some nice sunnies on this lake. What do you think of that? Good enough. Yeah, that's all right. That's cool. Anything with those hooks that just hang like that, mm -hmm. they like that. Okay. Yep, that's what I use a lot. I use those little chain, I call them pilkies. Okay. I'll show, you, I'll show you what I've been using. That's been a... That's uh, and you know what? I was just sold this at the gas station, too. Okay. Three ninety nine. Yeah. I was going to buy one. Yeah, I don't have anything with the chain on it, but um, I've got some similar As long as the hooks stuff. are hanging there, those spoons or uh, what you guys have is good. Okay. Yeah, and of course, if you're not getting fish on, they just change up. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, do you use panoptics at all? Not yet. No. Uh, have you? I got mine, but I forgot my pole at home for no it. No shit. Yeah. Oh, so no. I can't drop it in the water. It's like I use the Vexlar. I just thought maybe you had an extra one around. Oh, man. I haven't put out that money yet. <laughs> man, I it's... just throw a lot of holes. <laughs> That's true. That's a lot true. Of holes. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it's all good. I got my Vexlar. You we'll make it work. For tip -ups? You guys do a tip -up at all? Yeah, I was gonna put one over here right in this one. Yeah. Right now. Copy. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Over here digging around. That seems like a crappie. A nice crappie. There's your crop that we weren't gonna see much of. All right. That's good. I mean, he's paper thin. Paper thin. Send him back down the hole. Yeah, it's got a crappie. I don't know, probably a nine inch crappie. Huh? Little guy. Yeah, not very big. We don't get many little ones like that out here. I'm actually little, kind of surprised. Little ones. All right, all right. All right. Just go. Yeah, they're usually pretty. All right, guys. So, uh, what time is it? I guess I'll give you. Five thirty-three. Five thirty-three. It's five thirty-three. <clears throat> We've caught a few more fish. Uh, if you can see them. Right there, we've caught a 
six gills and we've got the couple crappie and the couple perch the couple crappie from last night and the perch from this morning i'm just holding this thing over my head <laughs> and uh we're gonna go ahead and cut these guys up and we are gonna cook them up in here and see how they taste so we, might get, we are about to get after we're gonna kind of double up on the cleaning duty here i guess so it doesn't take forever with these man as soon as we start filming geez, what is that? that's the wind i think that if somebody's driving out there might be somebody driving by that's a lot of noise towards the wind all right guys so here's our dinner tonight this is what we're going to cook up we've got two crappie seven gills well i mean sunfish or whatever one of these that's definitely a red ear sunfish right there if you can see that and then we've got a couple of perch right there all right guys so we cut up our fish here i mean that's a decent amount of meat there's plenty of uh meat for the both of us we are going to do the Frank's Red Hot Wash. So we're gonna put some Frank's hot sauce in a bag here. Yeah, that should do. Oh yeah, it should be plenty. Wow. Then we're gonna dump the fish in those and wash them in that hot sauce. And then we are going to put them in some Wheezy and a fish fry batter. And then we also have, we are gonna crush up some chicken and a biscuit <laughs> crackers. And we're gonna put that in our fish fry. And that's what we're gonna fry these fish up in. So we're gonna get all this taken care of and then we'll get to actually cooking this fish. Cooking this table, let these guys kind of marinate a little bit in there and go to town. For a side this evening, we've got ourselves some <laughs> Cool Ranch tater chips. And then for dessert, we have some pudding in the cup. Pudding cups. What am I good morning of pudding cups? I suppose we could have crushed these up too. Yeah. Probably get splattered with the grease here. Probably good. That's crappie right there. Crappie, bluegill, red ear sunfish, and perch. perch. Yellow perch. So we've nice got a medley. We've got a nice little smorgasbord of food here tonight. Oh, it smells delicious. Yes. It's been a long day on the ice. We've been out since seven o'clock this morning. And it is now 6.18, so we've almost been on the ice for 12 hours. Other than our lunch break to move spots. Man, that Frank's adds a whole lot. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can smell it. Oh, I can, absolutely. Lake to table, catch and cook, guys. And we're still standing on the lake. All right, y'all, well, there is our fish haul for today. I guess a couple crappie from yesterday. We'll get this guy shut off and cooled down. We gotta let this fish cool down for a minute and then we'll get to a taste test. All right, y'all, well, it's time for a taste test. We've given them a couple minutes to cool off. We've got some cold dews here. Do the dew. And uh, we're gonna give this fish a try. See if we can tell the difference, I guess, between species. I mean, we yeah. could probably kind of tell by the size yeah, of the collect. I, I can tell you what's what, but I wanted to go for this piece of crappie. There's a crappie right there. I can smell the reference in this one. I can taste the I'm definitely getting a little bit of spice out of it, for sure. Mm-hmm. 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 Very good. That's pretty thick. It's gonna be crappy too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hot. Temperature wise. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of spice to it, but for you guys that are like red hot, you know, washing in a hot sauce, like it's not what you would expect. No. Expect no. from that. No. You just get that flavor, the flavor of the hot sauce more than the hot of the hot sauce. Right. You probably cook most of that out one way or another. Mm -hmm. Most of it's still, yeah. There's a whole lot in the bag. Mm -hmm. Well, they 
Thanks for cooking dinner, man. It took us all day. Thanks for cleaning half the thing. <laughs> we got a feast ahead of us tomorrow, boy. They've got a lot of different meats to cook. Yeah, we got. I don't want to take anything home. <laughs> we got Just cooking all day long. Might as well. Man, that is that red hot is so good. In this. It's just a little spice to it, mm -hmm. like. It's like the perfect amount, though. Mm -hmm. It's like when I put hot sauce on my fish, just a couple dots, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even want to say you necessarily taste the frank flavor, even. You just taste that spice at the end. There's probably a mm -hmm. flavor into it that, you know... My tongue feels it. It's not, yeah, it's not hot. Like, even people that don't like spicy food, this is... All right, frank ain't hot to begin mm -hmm. with, you know? Crappy, mm -hmm. my favorite. Abba Jabba, you're my only friend. That was delicious. Well, yeah. guys, yeah, we've got the fish down. It was amazing. A smorgasbord of species for us. We're probably going to keep fishing for a little while. We got a lot of stuff that we got to clean up before we head back to the hotel tonight. So I'll see you guys when we're ready to head out of here. All right, guys, we are about to hop off the lake here. We had a great dinner tonight. Uh, we are going to hit it again tomorrow. The guide is putting us on a different lake uh, once again. And if we don't have much luck in the morning, he's gonna move us to another spot. So we've got a couple of different spots to try to fish tomorrow. And maybe we'll catch some bigger fish, maybe we won't. That's all part of the game. But for what it is, it is what it is. And Still a good time. Yeah, Still a good time. we had a blast. We caught, so we caught our dinner. We ate our dinner. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. That's all I wanted. Out of you can't ask for much more than that, honestly. We had a great time today, and uh, it's a great time up here in Minnesota. And I guess stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.